As our technology continues to grow, humanity has begun to peer ever closer at the numerous impossible to understand astronomical wonders of the universe. Though some of these wonders may prove to be nothing more than recurring features of our intriguing galaxy as we expand our information further out into the great unknown, there appears to be a number of anomalies close to our area of space that could host potential life. With the Milky Way galaxy being home to over 100 billion planets, and the universe being home to billions of galaxies, the likelihood of there being life on at least one of these planets is very likely, and researchers are hoping that within the next few decades we'll be able to track down extraterrestrial life. As of right now the best thing we have is searching for habitable planets, and although a lot of areas of space are too hostile for human life to exist, there are some places where humans could potentially live. One of these has recently made the news and it goes by the name of TOI 700D. This planet was discovered using NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. This planet stood out to researchers because upon first glance it was very similar to Earth. In fact it has a radius of 1.1 times that of Earth's, and orbits within its habitable zone. This means that the planet could host life. TOI 700D can be found orbiting TOI 700, which is a red dwarf star roughly 10 light years away in the Dorado constellation. This is said to be the only exoplanet in the habitable zone. The planet is said to have many of the features as Earth does. This includes things like rocky surfaces and mountainous regions. The planet receives 86% of the energy that the Sun provides to Earth. Emily Gilbert was the person behind the discovery. Astronomers have said the following about the planet. TOI 700 hosts several small planets, and is ideal for mass measurements using precision radial velocity follow-up. The planets are also interesting targets for transit observations to place constraints on their atmospheres. This system and other discoveries from the first year of test observations fulfill the mission's goal of identifying new exoplanets prime for detailed follow-up, and provide a positive outlook for TESS's second year and extended mission observations. Dr. Gabrielle Sousa, a research assistant at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, said the following about the planet. Our 3D climate models examined a variety of surface times and atmospheric compositions typically associated with what scientists regard to be potentially habitable worlds. Because TOI 700D is tidally locked to its star, the planet's cloud formations and wind patterns may be strikingly different from Earth's. One simulation included an ocean-covered TOI 700D, with a dense carbon dioxide dominated atmosphere similar to what scientists suspected surrounded Mars when it was young. The model atmosphere contains a deep layer of clouds on the star's facing side. Another model depicts the planet as a cloudless, all-land version of modern Earth, where winds flow away from the night side of the planet, and converge on the point directly facing the star. When starlight passes through a planet's atmosphere, it interacts with molecules like carbon dioxide and nitrogen to produce distinct signals. These are called spectral lines. As of right now, not much is known about the planet. It was discovered on the 3rd of January 2020. More research will most likely be carried out on this interesting planet, to try to better understand its makeup and if life could be on there. One of the most interesting discoveries of recent months has been that surrounding the discovery of many new exoplanets by the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. For those that aren't aware, Back in 2009, the Kepler satellite was launched with the purpose of discovering planets all across our galaxy, and helped to shed light on the discovery of a number of potentially habitable Earth-like planets located very close to our own. This mission proved to be such a success and at the centre of a number of incredible discoveries that this led to the creation and launch of another satellite, and this is known as the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite and this was designed with the purpose of discovering exoplanets moving across the surface of their parent star, and revealing their size in the shadows. Despite this new state-of-the-art system having been launched back on the 18th of April 2018, it's already made a number of incredible discoveries in recent months. These discoveries include 8 new confirmed planets, 300 additional planetary candidates, 
a number of gas planets and many Earth-like planets that have been missed by previous Kepler missions. Additionally, these new discoveries have allowed the new revelation that for a planet to form similar in size to that of Jupiter, it must have an orbit that has been disrupted allowing it to form to such a massive size, providing new insights as to exactly how gas giants are formed in the universe. At the rate that this new satellite is uncovering new planets, it will surely pass the Kepler satellite in a few years, as well as lead to a number of incredible insights and discoveries in the academic field of astrophysics itself. Over the years astronomers have picked up on mysterious radio signals deep in space. These have caused excitement as many of these have come from far out galactic clusters. Going back a few years ago, Russian astronomers picked up on a star approximately 94 light years from Earth. What's interesting about this is that the researchers are uncertain whether these signals were being transmitted by an advanced alien race, or alien hunters such as ourselves. These radio signals were discovered in 2015, and of course many people to put forward different theories. The researchers however are not sure they are alien in nature and have said they need to conduct more research to find out more about their origins. Due to how vast the universe is though, anything is possible, and we can't rule out the possibility of advanced civilizations. Although many remark that the age of information has been one of the greatest economic booms since the discovery of the new world, and the development of colonization, there are many others who believe that the advancements of pioneer of exploration are only just the beginning and that the next few decades should see an explosion of resources, materials, land and economic development. This is due to the predictions researchers give when analysing the incredible capacity of technological innovation and transportation when it comes to development of spacecraft and space exploration. A single asteroid alone holds enough precious minerals to generate more than a trillion dollars worth of gold, silver and platinum and the current efforts being taken by SpaceX and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration are more than paving the ways for efforts into colonization of the nearby red planet. Not only will these efforts lead to a boost in the production of industrial materials, along with cheaper electronics equipment and resources necessary for creating such products, but the colonization of new land will more than pave the way for economic world powers to form and continue carrying on the seed of human life. The advent of the age of space will more than be enough to become the major stepping stones for the economics of the future, while seeing a level of prosperity unprecedented in human history. Once it comes, such a boost will never again be seen in future generations to come, and given the fact that SpaceX plans to land a Martian colony by 2025, with NASA shortly to follow in 2030, this reality is more than expected to occur within our collective lifetimes. Interestingly, many different private organisations have begun designing and constructing deep space technologies to begin areas of asteroid mining, and collecting deep space resources. The European Space Agency, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence and NASA have been working very hard to find out if we're completely alone. Today we have a big number of projects that are made to scan the stars for extraterrestrial life. Something researchers are intrigued by is Saturn's moon Enceladus. It's been put forward that this moon may be able to support life. This claim comes after researchers suggest its ocean is over 1 billion years old, further saying that this is a sweet spot. NASA reported at the 2019 Astrobiology Science Conference that the time frame is long enough for there to be life. One of the research scientists said the following, In the scenario that best matches the real moons, the ocean on Enceladus is around a billion years old, that's good news for life. It should have had long enough to arise, and there should still be some energy to power it. Cassini was a spacecraft who arrived in the Saturn system back in 2001. It made 127 flybys of Titan and 23 flybys of Enceladus. The Cassini mission ended on September 15th, 2017, and this was due to loss of contact. After making these flybys though, Cassini gave researchers an incredible insight into how the moon is doing. It's not the airless icy body as it was previously assumed. The detection of the thermal infrared in the four tiger stripe fractures means that Enceladus heats up from the inside out. 
It's believed the friction caused by the gravitational forces of Saturn has been affecting the heating of Enceladus. On our planet, hydrothermal vents are filled with organisms we cannot see anywhere else, with some scientists saying there are whole worlds in these vents that many of us have never seen before. This could be what's happening on Enceladus. Researchers have said there is evidence of hydrothermal vents on the sea floor of Enceladus. Hydrothermal vents usually form at locations where magma and seawater meet. Water runs down the cracks into the core, where it's heated and then comes back out again. Just like Europa, Enceladus is also believed to have a global ocean found under its icy surface. All of the data collected related to Enceladus points out to the fact that it really does have the three ingredients required for life. It seems that scientists are one step closer to finding life in our very own solar system. Our solar system is tiny when compared to the rest of the universe, and it makes you wonder what else could be out there. So my question to you guys is do you think there's life out there in the universe? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries.